The name's Beady. Duncan Beady. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is he saying his name all weird? And why is he wearing sunglasses indoors? Both valid points. There's a very good explanation for both. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to draw none other than a super cool secret agent sleuth. No, not that guy. Someone else, even better. Today we're going to learn how to draw... Charlie Palmer, Agent Llama. This is the new book written by Angela Wolfe and illustrated by me. And it's all about the super secret agent Charlie Palmer, codenamed Double O Llama. And she is enrolled on a super secret mission to help rescue the Prime Minister's underpants that have been stolen by none other than evil dastardly villain Bogdan Boom and his equally diabolical henchman, or henchwoman in this case, Greta Grimm. So inside you can expect to find all sorts of daring do and action involving skiing chases, car chases, jumping out of crashing aeroplanes, but I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to spoil the story. So without further ado, let's learn how to draw Agent Llama, Charlie Palmer. Actually, I won't wear these, it's just really impractical. Okay, so we have relocated to my studio, aka my kitchen. And as you can see, I have a blank sheet of paper here, which I've laid vertically, so portrait uh, style. And I have my trusty pen. So if you get your paper and your pencil or pen ready, I shall begin showing you how to draw Charlie Palmer. So, I always like to start with drawing the eyes whenever I'm drawing a character. So, like most of the characters I draw, the eyes are just two circles. One there, and one next to it. And then some little dots in the middle for pupils. And our eyes aren't complete without the eyebrows. So, we're going to give Charlie a couple of eyebrows above her eyes. I think one will be angled upwards. And the other one angled down like she's got a bit of a cheeky expression. She's a super cool llama with lots of tricks up her sleeves. So she's going to have a pretty confident look about her. So next we're going to do her head shape or her face shape. And it's a sort of big oval. So we're going to start just drawing a line behind the eyes and the eyebrows like that. And then come down and round and then up again so it's almost like a sort of big egg shape and for her nose we're going to do a horizontal line and then three bumps one two three and then a vertical line down with a little smiley mouth at the bottom so that is charlie palmer's face next she has one of her most uh, key characteristics is a sort of big spiked up quiff of hair which usually blows in the wind when she's racing along on a pair of skis or on a open top sports car and so we're going to do one curved line up and then a little zigzag line three points and a curved line down so you can imagine that sort of fringe flapping in the wind as she's racing along and now her ears we're going to have a vertical line and a curved line coming down joining at the bottom same on the other side, vertical line, curve low, coming down, sort of going behind that eyebrow there. And those are her ears. Next, her fleece of fluffy curly hair. So a couple of bumps there, then down from that ear, we're going to go bump, 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 down. And this is the back of her neck. And it comes around to the bottom of her neck, then back up there. And what we can do is to make it look a bit more woolly and a bit more fluffy, Add a few more curly lines in like that. You can imagine it's almost like a, a, a sheep's fleece, isn't it? You can imagine giving that a stroke and it'd be all fluffy. So we've done her head. She's looking good. Now she needs a body. So we're going to do a curved line for her tummy. So we're going to start here. Draw a sort of swervy curved line down to about there and stop. And then for her back, we're going to do a vertical line from about here. Bring that down to about there and stop. And next we're going to do her belt. I think she has a utility belt. Now that is a belt with lots of pockets. Just a straight line across to start off with. 
and then another straight line across. And the reason it has lots of pockets, as you can imagine, you can hide lots of gadgets in there. So a square belt buckle, and then here we'll do another square, but this one has a sort of pocket flap on it. Probably she tucks away some super gadgets in there, I imagine. And next we'll do her legs. Now, when I was designing Charlie Palmer, I was thinking hard what a llama would look like if they were squeezed into a skin-tight jumpsuit. That's one of the many joys of my job, imagining what animals look like in strange clothing. So I imagine because they've got quite fluffy legs, if they stuffed them into a jumpsuit, they'd be quite bulky. So she's got a sort of quite bulbous leg there, but then, if you've ever seen a llama, you'll see their lower legs are quite slender hoofs. So she wears these boots that show off her hooves like that. So vertical lines with her, oh, it's got, I've gone off the page a little bit, I'll just show you down there. Whoop, has a sort of zigzag line at the bottom for her hoof. There we go, I try and keep this one on the page. Another curved line for this leg, and then a straight line, quick up, down, then another straight line going back up, and that's her legs are there. Next, her arms. She's nearly done. She's taking uh, taking shape. So she's going to be in a bit of a cool pose. So this one's going to be a hand on hip sort of pose. So we're going to do a curved line around and stop just before we get to the body. Another curved line around and stop. And then join them with a straight line. And her hand is going to be a sort of slightly like a clenched fist, but resting on her hip like that. There you go. Pretty cool. And with her other arm, what I thought she'd be doing is maybe showing off one of her gadgets. So this one's going to curve up instead of down. And a lower line curving up again. And then join with a straight line. And her hoof here is going to be open, extended, because she's throwing something up in the air. Now, if you've read the story, you might know she has one gadget that is a Brussels sprout that turns into a stink bomb. So we're just going to draw a sort of Brussels sprouty shape like that. Everybody loves Brussels sprouts, I know, but this one can convert into a stink bomb, so watch out. And then, last of all, we're going to do a zip down the, the front of her suit. So a little rectangle for the zip uh, toggle, and then a straight line down. I'll just come down and stop there. And there you have it. Ah, no, you don't. I've forgotten one thing, one important thing. Her fluffy llama tail. So that's going to be like a fluffy cloud, lots of bumps like that, so it matches the sort of fluff around her neck. And there we have Charlie Palmer, Agent Llama. So I hope I didn't do that too quickly for you, but you can watch the video uh, as many times as you want if you want to practice and get it right. So enjoy drawing Charlie Palmer. So there we have it. That's how you draw Charlie Palmer, Agent Llama. I hope you had a fun time learning and if you do manage to do a good drawing that you're particularly pleased with and would like to share with us then do feel free to enlist an adult on a special mission to upload your picture to social media and uh, share it with Little Tiger. Hopefully there'll be the, the social media details at the end of this video because we'd love to see what you come up with. Until then, be good secret agent sleuths and we'll see you soon.